warm welcome everyone, I hope you are well. My name is Nick, on the ZX Spectrum 48K, looking at a homebrew, a homebrew puzzler called Extruder, published by Rui Martins in 2018. It was part of a competition called the ZX Dev Conversions in, of 2017, of which we reviewed a few games from there, including Gandalf, uh, Mighty Final Fight and Specky Pong. It's a remake of a game called Magic Drop 2 from 1996, which is a, a game only released in Japan on various other systems, not including the Spectrum. So let's see how I get on. But basically, I'm this jester down the bottom, and we have to get three same colours of these in a row. By pressing down, we can get a bubble towards us, and then put it back up again in the right area. Uh, we cause um, any of three in a row to vanish, and one's next door to it also. So that's basically it. The bubbles gradually come down the screen. If you run out of screen, you are dead, and that is essentially it. So my guy can go from left to right, and can go for these portals and left to right to come out the other side of the screen as well. So you have to go a bit quick. Nice checkerboard uh, design at the back. So it's quite basic in what it's trying to do, uh, but you're quickly into this game. So it's moving slow enough at the moment. Uh, if you had this game, or uh, well, if you've played this game and completed it, I don't think you can complete it, it goes on forever. But if you had a good old long run, let me know. Right, so, I think I'm winning, yes, so, get all those purples in a row, all the magentas. Uh, I don't think it's possible to clear the screen. Uh, there's a black bubble there, I don't know if that's a freebie or a bomb or something. We'll soon find out if any go in uh, in mass. Right, let's put that there. So it's all about your speed, really. Go as quickly as you possibly can. Kaboom! It's fairly easy, to be fair. It's quite gentle. It's a good stress buster. I was expecting a bit more of a challenge here, but... Um, I think uh, young kids would like this game as well. I think Ghost can this could last quite a long time. It's over single screen. It's not going to go anywhere else apart from this. It's always going to be destroying bubbles. Now, Magic Drop and Magic Drop 2, I think, were from the uh, arcades. They didn't get a commercial release in the UK. I think they come out on the Neo Geo, perhaps out in Japan, that sort of area. Maybe some of the Sega systems. So let's just see how far as I can possibly get. Now, thank you for watching this far into the video. I know we're only a couple of minutes in, but a lot of people just click and go out again. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, because if you're this far, it might mean that you like this kind of stuff. And we review lots and lots and lots of ZX Spectrum uh, things. If you check out the playlist uh, there, uh, via the channel page, you can see everything we've done so far. And there's sort of like an index also, reviewed games uh, so far, like compilation videos. So check that out too. As the screen is gradually filling up, as I, as I waste time talking, Talking, awking, and all that sort of uh, uh, stuff. Thank you to the subscribers, uh, well, subscribers and the members uh, keeping this channel uh, running. Thank you. If you want to be a member, there's a join button below. Click on that. Uh, it tells you a bit about what it's about. It doesn't commit you straight away if you want to make a decision then. And join the uh, the community uh, there. And thank you for anyone that's uh, come to a live stream. I'll have to live stream this soon. I'm running out of air. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Yes, kaboom. That created a lot of space. Right, so there's only seem to be a few colours, magenta, green, cyan and yellow. So you can really make, it could look like you're not doing very well and they can really can cause some damage at certain points. Right, well I don't know, I must have hit a bomb because I, I, a lot disappeared then and that's suddenly looking a lot better. Boof! Right, uh, I'll have to try out the, although there's not two players here, I'll have to try out the two player mode in a moment. I think, really, if I wasn't commentating, I think I could make a go last about an hour, but that wouldn't make a very good video, because it's, it's an okay game to play. It's, an, it's been coded well, it's nice graphics, it's an okay game to play on your own, but to do a big long video, I think it might be asking a bit much of someone to watch all of that. So it's better to play uh, than to watch, I would uh, say. Lots of bubbles going on. Put your favourite favorite bubble game uh, below. You're going to say Bubble Dizzy, or you might say Bubble Bobble, mightn't you? Something like that. So I don't know what the backstory is of this jester. I don't know how much this differs from Magic Drop 2. But yes, uh, part of the ZX Dev Conversions 2017. I think we might have reviewed another game about Mars from that uh, also. So there's a few other ones there we need to come to. I think Roust was in it uh, from Alan Turvey, I think, which is a reworking of Joust we haven't reviewed uh, so far. Uh, Gandalf was a good game by Christian M. Gonzalez, uh, a platformer game where the the character you had, well, the character you control had more than one colour, as this one does as well. It's like a, a platformer. Mighty Final Fight. 
It's a scale down version of Final Fight from the arcade where you're controlling more cartoony characters and that was good battling from back to forth. So that was, that was good fun as well. So, you know, the, the games that come out from these competitions are, are quite cool. I'm not sure there was any um, other dev conversion uh, competitions after that. I presume there was because this one was back in 2017. Uh, the game, of course, released by, uh, well, in 2018 by Rui Martins and he's from uh, Portugal, so he's a Portuguese. Um, you know, games are created all over the world, mainly seem to be the UK, uh, parts of Russia as well, uh, yeah, Portugal as well, I suppose, Spain. Uh, Spain's a big, a big home as Eric Spectrum stuff also. Right, let's keep going. There's some countries where it doesn't seem to be present in. Uh, if you're watching this from a, another country abroad somewhere, let me know. Did the ZX Spectrum have a presence where you are or, or not at all? Or is this the first ever Spectrum game that you've actually seen? So I wasn't released back in the day, of course. It's one of the many homebrews, and it's an extremely lively homebrew uh, scene, the ZX Spectrum. Probably the, the, the biggest homebrew scene um, uh, there is. Um, other retro systems have their homebrew scenes as well. Commodore 64, Atari, Commodore Amiga, and various other ones. But the Spectrum one does seem to be the biggest than most people producing stuff for this sort of like era. Right, uh, ZX Spectrum came out in the early 80s, of course. It was the first computer I ever um, come across. Uh, first ever I had, then went to the Commodore Amiga. But retro game is all about what you grew up with, really. Um, if one isn't better than the other, it's all about memories, not like competing memories with other people. So it's all like a personal uh, thing. Red, I, I, this is, this is going to go on forever and ever and ever. Like, like, it says it's bubbles, but they could well be marbles. I was more into marbles back in the day. I've got a box there which um, I bought of Amazon various marbles. Occasionally, when I get a bit stressed, I just have a look at them, run my hand through them. I know I'm weird, but anyway, whatever, whatever, whatever works. As the screen is gonna fill up. Uh, 128 version would have been good on this, where the uh, playing music all the way through. That might have lifted it a little bit. Boom. Right, I think we're running out of screen now, aren't we? I think that's it, almost. Well, I might have a, a sudden reprieve. Right. Uh, no, the brick uh, well, There we go. Good. <laughs> there we go. So good, good title screen as well. So I, I'll put it quickly on two player then to see how that uh, differs. There won't be someone playing in two player, but we'll see. Uh, I'd imagine it would be a split screen or something. So if you want to play it, there we go. So if you want to play it with a friend, you'll know what you're going to get. Yeah. So it's a slightly smaller screen each time. So this could be a little bit trickier. Uh, player two on the right is not going to do anything, so gonna, probably going to beat them. So I presume it's who can last the longest, I guess, and it's going to be me. Yeah, that. I'm uh, not sure what that empty ball does, but uh, it's, yeah, it's worked as a it vanished there, so it's worked a bit as a bomb. If you're cheering for player two, then curse you. That player two is not going to win. It's all about player one here. Boof. Uh, boom. Now, if you want to download this, I think I got it. Well, I did get it from a, a site called Spectrum Computing, which I get a lot of the uh, uh, the games from, unless it's one of the ones that was sent to me, which I get quite a few as well. And I've won that. I beat player two. Yeah, Spectrum Computing. You can get a copy of that. It might be on World of Spectrum as well. I'm not sure, but definitely Spectrum Computing. Right. Off, off we go. So it's it's random. The the balls that come down to you are in no set order. They're not going to be exactly the same each time. So we we'll just have we we'll just have another quick go of this. But you've pretty much seen all the gameplay there is possibly to play. So you'd have to say it's like a Tetris variant. Uh, the screen is a bit wider. Um, you're playing the other way around uh, the character gesture. So you, you're grabbing the balls uh, and, then, and then chucking them back. I suppose a little bit like Clax, I suppose, but with less of the uh, 3D. So essentially there's only controls left and right and down to get the bubbles and up to put the bubble back up again. And that, that is it. It's easy to control. You don't necessarily need to read any instructions whatsoever. Uh, there, but just get three colours uh, in a vertical row, a row, no row, and any other colours that might be adjacent to it, they'll vanish as well. Uh, sometimes they look like they vanish on other bits of the screen too. Not quite sure what's going on there, but we'll we'll run with it. If you have played Magic Drop or Magic Drop 2, let me know. You might have done that on emulation, I guess. Uh, but uh, yes, let's go. Let's go, Hugo. Yeah, I would have liked to um, have some uh, levels maybe across the bottom, like level one, and when you get to a certain bit, extra different things fall down also, a bit like pack attack maybe. Uh, but uh, yes, what you see is what you get. It's all about stress busting, I suppose. There's, there's, a, there's a few there's a few games a little bit like that, and that's uh, what the channel tries to do as well. It's not a great deal to the thing. It's a nice idea. It's quite nice on the eye. There's nice colours there, but you know you're not going to have something anything uh, quite in uh, depth uh, there at all, right? Boof, boof. It's 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 a t it's a timer. It's a time taker, really. Uh, 
calm your nerves, get your brain into a different area, like going for a walk, I suppose, get it relaxing, get it doing different brain waves away from the stressful reality of all that other crazy stuff uh, that goes uh, on. Big thank you to the subscribers again. Uh, I might end this uh, quite soon more than likely it's only you and me that are here uh, that's why I talk directly to you um, if you're still here then comment below see who's in in the back end of the video it's extruder we tend to review a homebrew um, once a week every Wednesday typically but you know they're, they're all there they're all there in the uh, playlist if you want to uh, dig them out might do my top 10 at some point in the future but there's there's so many there's so many good ones Biff uh, as I'm recording, we're coming up to, well, soon, it'll be 1,000 uh, ZX Spectrum videos, and uh, that, I consider that a big badge of honour. Can't wait to get to there. 1,000. We've, we've done more, much more uh, videos than that on the channel, various systems, but 1,000 ZX Spectrum. Back in the day, I didn't even know there was 1,000 ZX Spectrum games, but uh, I think they're pushing maybe 30,000 maybe now. So it's going up and up and up, and people people keep writing them, so we'll keep looking at them. I always joke that I want to review everything ever, but I, I don't think I possibly uh, can do, because it's just so, there's just too many. I'd have to live forever. Uh, what's that song in Oasis? I want to live forever. I want to live with Trevor. Something like that, anyway. Uh, I don't know who Trevor was. Maybe maybe he played the saxophone in Oasis. If you're, if you're Trevor and played the saxophone in Oasis, then comment below. Uh, red. Uh, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a joker here down the bottom. Got a green and red hat on. White shorts. Funny little shoes. Uh, not in real life, of course, just in the game. Right. Perhaps we'll, perhaps, we'll, perhaps we'll let it go down now. We'll let it go down. So, you know, it's, it's an interesting little game. It's encoded quite well. I'm not sure if it won the, uh, the ZX Dev Conversions competition at all or not. I would have given it to either Gandalf or Mighty Final Fight, but it's not bad. A game you can come back to every now and again for stress, but it's not going to. It's got to rot the world in terms of excitement a factor, and it's for 48k too. So, hope you like to have a look at that one. I quite enjoyed it. It's Extruder, published by Rui Martins in 2018. A nice little puzzle game. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, or indeed homebrew, then uh, be my guest. Uh, put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome, and I, I love reading your comments. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.